today sort of marks the, uh, I guess the start of the west coast of Tasmania. And we traveled today from Hobart out to Queenstown. Oh, actually no, we stopped at the Derwent River. So today's day two on the west coast. And Queenstown is an amazing area. It's an old mining area of immensely sheared and deformed mountain ranges. There's a beautiful lake. Uh, there's a couple of waterfalls and there's also uh, some really good photographic opportunities. So the problem is, is it's Haley's birthday in two days. She doesn't know this yet. Well, she'll know it by the time this video comes out, but I've got some surprise accommodation for us. So we're not sleeping in the van and that's in Strawn. So I need to try and work out all the photographic locations that I want to visit now uh, around Queenstown into two nights. Oh yeah, two nights, one morning. So the location that I'm at now is a place called Nelson's Falls. And I came out here earlier today at about lunchtime when the car park was full and that there were people everywhere. And the conditions were also harsh too, not suitable for shooting uh, waterfalls, especially this one. So we've come back now at 5.30 in the evening and there's no one here. I just had a good chat with the guy in the car park and now I'm heading back out to the falls and I'm the only one here. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Even though it's still sunny, the fact that it's so late in the day uh, means the sun's dropping behind and that should make for a really nice atmosphere for the waterfall. When I came out before, I sussed out a few compositions, had a look around. There's definitely a few there to work with, uh, so I'm excited to get out there and see what I can come up with. It's a really beautiful shot here from the platform, uh, which you don't usually find at places like this. So I'm at about 35 mil uh, ISO 100 F14, and that's giving me, with the polarizer, about a 3.2 second shutter speed, which is perfect for this waterfall because the water is flowing quite fast. And surprisingly for this waterfall as well, this viewing platform, it's a pretty good platform in terms of the composition that you can get. Uh, it's sort of got a, you know, opening uh, moss-covered boulders in the foreground. You've got the definite feature of the waterfall cascading in the background. The trees on either side really help frame it. And then you've got that mystery of where does the waterfall come from? And it really leads you up uh, viewing in that direction too. So it's quite a nice composition just from here. The only problem is when I'm walking, putting a lot of shake through the camera. So what I've got, is I've got the 10 second timer on. And even that is almost just not enough. So I've got to sort of wait a couple of seconds, set the timer off, and then uh, let, the, let the camera do its job. So I'm gonna take a horizontal and a vertical composition in this one location, uh, and then I'll put up the one that I think looks better, so. I actually like both those photos. I think they came out really good. And this is probably the most beautiful waterfall that I've seen in Tasmania so far. So pretty stoked. I've got those ones in the bag. Now I'm just gonna walk around, see what else I can find compositionally. And I might switch up to the wide angle to uh, introduce some more foreground elements to the, uh, to the waterfall too. So I've got plenty of time here and I'm still the only one around. The only way to do it. What a wonderful world.
mucking around playing with different compositions and I walked further and further up to where these big logs uh, had fallen uh, as part of, you know, might have come down in the flood or whatnot. And the tones and the textures in this wood is just beautiful. And there's this tiny little fern um, that just really caught my eye in one of the other frames that I took. So I've tried to incorporate that into the photo that I've just taken. I think I'm really happy with it. On the back of the, uh, yeah, the spider web, <laughs> on the back of the LCD looks really good. Hopefully I nailed that. The settings that I had, I was on the wide angle, as wide as I could go, 17 mil. And then I've got F14 with the polarizer fully on for the foreground and for the, uh, for the background as well. And I'll blend those together and, and come out with a composite image that I hopefully will tell the story of, of what I tried to achieve. So but these fallen logs just have such a beautiful tone in them at the moment with the ambient light. It looks incredible. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't always enjoy shooting waterfalls because most of the time, if it's a good waterfall, chances are it has like a viewing platform like this one did. And if you get there and there's a lot of people there, it's just, you know, I don't want to ruin other people's experiences just because I want to take photos. So the reason I really enjoyed this is I was the only one there for the whole time. So I really enjoyed that. And I mucked around with compositions and was able to block the viewing platform and whatnot. So I wasn't really putting anyone out, but I could still achieve what I wanted to. Those tones in those fallen trees were just beautiful. And you know, that was a really beautiful waterfall to, um, to photograph as well. Sort of that cascading curtain effect of the water is really nice. So hopefully I came away with a couple of good images there. Uh, definitely very green, very vibrant. So just heading back to the car now. Haley's having a nana nap. Look guys, if you like this video, give me a like. If you're not already, hit subscribe. Uh, and leave a comment, it really helps me out as well. And let me know what you think too, and if you like the images. So, a couple of days into the west coast of Tasmania, and it is choice. It is awesome here, I'm really enjoying it. I just wish we had more time, as usual. Thanks for watching, guys, really appreciate it. And I'll catch you soon. Cheers.